tough economic times are creating a hard reality for some families this holiday season. Maybe it's not going to be as giftful as it has been in the past. Rosemary Hines, a University of Minnesota Extension educator who specializes in family management, says being open with your children before Christmas is always the best policy. You need to have some conversation about what is realistic that the family can afford. Um, that maybe there's just going to be a couple gifts and give them a price range. Heinz says that message works for children of all ages. For example, a family that celebrates Christmas with younger kids should explain how Santa is also affected by the slow economy and that he might not be able to bring as many gifts. For older children, Heinz says involving them in the holiday budget is a good plan. You might have to be very honest with them and say, okay, I don't think that this is possible, but let's figure out how maybe we could make some adjustments. Either something else that's less expensive or can you help pay for this item that you really want. As far as kids are concerned, Heinz says you'd be surprised at how well they can understand economic situations. In some cases, it's the adults who could use a lesson in responsible spending. As for the budget, Heinz says families should spend no more than one and a half percent of their annual income on the holidays, and that includes travel and food expenses. But even if money is not an issue, some researchers say a better holiday season can be had if the focus isn't on gifts. Most people value their relationships. They value a sense of inner harmony between their actions and their behavior. They value communities they're a part of far more than the material things, but uh, you don't see that advertised very much. U of M researcher William Doherty says people can easily get caught up in the competitive gift-buying aspect of the holidays, even if that's not what makes them the most happy. And Heinz agrees, saying the number of presents a person receives is not what a person remembers about the holidays. It was the family traditions, it was being together as a family, having fun as a family, and many of these items are no-cost items. For the University of Minnesota, I'm Justin Ware.